Hello everybody, this is Age of Starcraft once again bringing you another game for my YouTube channel and today I have another special treat for you guys. I know, just two special treats on one day. I am actually playing here, this is a PVT, myself adjudicator the blue protest spawning on the right side and Lost Temple and my opponent here, the Red Terran Phoenix. I wonder where Phoenix is from, there are a lot of Phoenix in gaming history and history in general, but that doesn't matter. This guy is actually, th this game is so amazing guys because this this player right here, this Red Terran, is unbelievably good. And I mean, he's so good. It's just one of those times where you're wondering if this is just not one of those super pro high level players trying to practice a little bit on the lower player noobs, you know, and just kind of have fun or be chill because they don't want to really practice too much. So as you can see myself here, as always, doing the 9 pylon scout. And my opponent here, what is he going for? He, This is smart, guys. When you are actually a lot more confident in your skills and when you are a better player, you can actually not wall off because this... Supply Depot is a huge vulnerability. If you see, I think in one of my other videos that I have casted so far, I have a tendency of bringing one up server, putting it right around here where he, even if he scans, he can't really kill it, and then harass that Supply Depot, destroy it with my Stalkers, my Immortals, whatever, and he can't get out because if he comes out, I have like Zealots waiting for him to get all over in his face, so... This is actually very good. He's going with a fast uh, barracks, a uh, fast uh, refinery as well. Let's see, myself... I am doing the standard assimilator build with the probes and the gateway over here, not much going on. I am scouting because when I saw that he was not walling off, I immediately, st I immediately start thinking one of two things. Okay, he's either rushing something and he's trying to hide the, uh, the barracks, which I believe I had not actually seen. So see, I actually didn't see this going down, so I thought maybe he was doing a proxy barracks. So I want to check out the likely places for them to hide something would be around here or maybe here in the gold expansion because he saw my probe come early and I, I'm already in diamond so not to brag or anything but I'm assuming that this player is good. I, I never want to assume that my player did something bad. I want to assume he's doing something good. So the good thing would have been if he was rushing or proxying to put a barracks down here and then he can have reapers all up in my face in no time. So I, I did see the, the refinery and I did see the Supply Depot, and as you can see here, a tech lab going out. Now, he is continuing his macro, nothing too much going on other than the tech lab. Our probes and SCVs got in a little bit of fight of micro, micro back and forth. I actually lost the probe to this Marine, but he did his damage. He did 10 worth of damage, so that's pretty good. My opponent here is still scouting around, and I am just annoyed because I don't like... I want to put that uh, robotics bay down, but I don't want him to see it, but... He's gonna retreat here, and as you can see, Robotics Bay coming down, even before the first Stalker, because I saw I went back into his base, and I saw this second uh, barracks, I believe. Let me see. Let's let's go to my view over here. See, I saw the second barracks, so I know he's he has he's not rushing Marines. He's not rushing anything specifically. He couldn't really be rushing a Reaper, though. I guess there's a possibility, but it would have been too late. I think, in my opinion, I would have. Maybe he might have been able to do some damage, but I would have been able to get this Stalker out. So, he's just holding the Sol Naga Tower right here, and he actually is rushing Marauders. And this was pretty bad for me, because this guy is really, really good, and I actually went on a losing streak after this game, where I was just losing to Mass Marauder, Mass Marauder, Mass Marauder, and I was just so frustrated, but I won't bore you with those details, maybe at a later time I will talk about it. As you can see, I am expecting Marauders since I have not seen Reapers, so I am getting my first Immortal and a second Stalker because you saw what happens with Celots in my other games. They just get kited all day long, and my opponent here actually pushing very early. This is definitely a very difficult, scary push. He is aligning his Marauders so that the Marine does not take the damage, so he can do damage while at the same time not taking damage. And my Immortal's not even down. Oh my god, look at this. This Stalker going down almost immediately. I have barely done anything. This Marauder in the back, he's moving him back, moving him back. He's kiting back and forth. My Immortal comes out, but he just keeps moving back and forth. Look at this perfect micro. Oh my goodness. I almost lost all my shields, and he still has two Marauders. Yeah, granted, they're almost dead, but they're still doing damage. Look at this. He has reinforcing Marauders. He has reinforcing Marauders everywhere. 
and he I, I only have one stalker that's all I can really make right now stalkers I don't even have a second gateway and my second my immortal goes down my second immortal is almost popping out but look at this look at the micro back and forth he's taking a normally you would not be able to take the the two immortals that have come out he would not be able to take them normally but because of that micro that he goes back and forth back and forth he's actually been able to eliminate two immortals and something like four stalkers so if we look at the resources lost here I am definitely behind guys look at this I've lost less units but my units cost more than his and he keeps microing he keeps microing back look at this a stalker comes out he can't do anything this immortal being focused down he can't even move fast enough the the Marauders, I believe, outrange, yeah, they have range 6, whereas the Immortal only has a range 5. Uh, it doesn't say that, but it only has a range 5, so I'm trying to distract him. I'm trying to run with this Stalker, waiting for my other Immortal to come out, and I am just, oh, lose that Stalker again. And now I am running and gunning and gunning, and I really am trying to desperately, I'm trying to micro this Marauder, trying to make sure that I'm killing the right one, that he's not microing back and forth. And But it, just as I get rid of that, there are more Marauders knocking on my door. This Immortal is almost dead, so I have to retreat back a little bit and I and I actually I'm just waiting for my other <laughs> units guys my second gateway is barely down I'm barely putting a twilight cancel out to get that charge research down and my intention I've already got one damage upgrade which is good that is good but I don't have the units to take advantage of that upgrade so my opponent here it looks like he was just backing up a little bit waiting for his other units to come back and he's going to push me again. Um, let's take a look at here how it goes. He's trying to harass a little bit. He's trying to lure me out. He knows that he wants to take me out of the defensive position. Look at that. He's even trying to see squish me in with his Marauders. Either that or he missed my card. I'm not really sure. But he sees that I've got two Immortals. And let's see what's going on in his base. Oh, man. He's got Siege Tanks. And does he, does he have Siege Mode? Okay, Siege Mode's not up yet. But look at this. He's already expanded. I am barely keeping up on the resources. And he's already put down his second Command Center. This is why this build is so frustrating for Terran to build deal with. Look at this, he's got a Ghost Academy because he sees my Immortals and he knows that a Ghost EMP is going to totally deny my defense. He's made a reactor for the rings just to add another counter to the Immortals. Sorry about that, I, had, I almost shot a mouse saliva from all the talking, all the excitement. And look at this, I only have a, a teeny force, guys, and he's taking the high ground advantage. He's using the, the Marauders to slow me down and these tanks do horrible, horrible damage. Look at this. 25 damage for, for armored, and their attack rate is super fast. 1.04. I think Immortals attack slower than that. Let's take a look. 1.45. So for every hit that I'm getting, he's getting 1.5. And, a half. and th this is two tanks. He's got Marauders here, and as we look at the production tab, I'm getting charge, and he... Oh, man. He already has stem pack. This is not good for me. This is actually a sizable force, but with Stimpak, I, I just... I, I'm harassing. This is great. Pushing myself in here, but I've actually made a big mistake. I've cornered myself in here. I cannot retreat. These units are dead. The only thing I can hope is to take out these tanks. These are the dangerous ones because they, were, they will obliterate all my zealots if I decide to do the charge. And here comes a zealot. A little bit late. Probably a miss, miss rallied spot. And oh man, losing another immortal and two zealots because of a miss rally spot. So as you can see, I barely am able to keep up in production, guys. I don't even have a third or a fourth gateway. I've been pumping units. Zealots are coming out. Charge is, oh, halfway through. I'm realizing that I like, don't have enough units to stop this. Look at, the, uh, look at this horrible, horrible force coming in. He's even got an SCV repairing his tank. He's going to siege down here, I believe. If he, He's researching siege. So he, yeah, he's, his intent is to siege down here and then harass. But I guess it won't be ready in time. He's He's taking out my gateway because he knows I'm trying to pump out more units. These cells just don't even have charge. Charge is still being researched. This immortal being focused down. And I, I just... Wow. Completely overrun. Look at this. Zealots come out and they can't do anything. They can't even get close. They cannot get even one hit. He's taken out my pylon. There goes my robo bait. There goes my uh, gateway. And I just... I, I realize there's just really nothing I can do. This this nexus is about to go down and I just GG. So if you're a Terran player, this is how you want to push some Marauder Rush on a Protoss player. And if you're a Protoss player, this is... Probably not what you want to do. I'm not. I, I actually spent a lot of time thinking, and I've I've been trying to figure out a way to properly counter this. And I think I'm almost there. But uh, I will post that whenever I think I have it down properly. I mean, we've got Marines coming out here. We've got another tank, more Marauders. We've got a reactor here. This could only mean Raven or Banshee. Uh, I mean. 
Terran play was amazing. I think the APM of this of this player was something like 400 during the game. So, uh, d just if this is what you want to do if you're a Terran player against the Protoss. So, it, if you guys liked it, of course, always subscribe, comment, rate, like, share with your friends. Check out other channels like Husky Starcraft, HD Starcraft, Day Nine. There are all awesome commentators. HD and uh, and Husky are actually my inspiration. I'm trying to be a little bit like them. I'm not exactly trying to be just like them. That's why I'm focusing a little bit more on training videos or on kind of strategy guys. But it, it, again, if you guys are watching, I thank you very much and I appreciate everything your comments your hate your anything you have throw at me you can go ahead and throw it and I will see you guys next time and have a good day